lights up. All right, Derek Dice, Billy Newman now joined by former Cougs defensive lineman Ivan McLennan. Ten and a half sacks over his two years in the Crimson and Gray. Helped the Cougs get to the Sun Bowl back in 2015, correct? Yes, sir. And before I start, I got to start it off with a yes, sir. <laughs> Be back here, man. I'm so excited. Derek, Billy, thank you for this opportunity. Hey, we know you went and played it in the CFL. So, so talk about that experience and then what you're doing now. On well, the man, well, man, obviously, you know, after uh, after my Cougar career, man, I got two years. I was a Juco guy. So, man, after that, I went to play for the Falcons for a little bit. Ended up getting cut the reality of the NFL, right? Didn't stop there. Went to go play for Montreal, then D.C., then Calgary. Tore my knee up and, and went to some different endeavors, right? But, um, Teaching now, coaching now, uh, doing my podcast thing, sports media thing, man. So I'm just happy to be here, man. I'm excited. Tell all the Cougar fans where you're, you're teaching and uh, and coaching. So I've been at Kamiak High School over here in Mokotillo, Washington. I'm not going to give you my address, though. So that's where I've been at, right, guys? That's where I've been at. And it's been rewarding, man, right? You need, you need a figure like me that looks like me, a black male in the classroom, right, to kind of change the perspective of some things that we're, we're not accustomed to in our country, right? You want to see a black man teach them, right? Because I can teach them certain things and certain perspectives that they probably won't get from a different race, right? So it's a very important and it's meaningful to me to inspire you. It's absolutely important, for sure. All right. You've been doing some work for Coop Fan. You talked yep. about uh, your, your Leisure Time podcast. And absolutely. You've, been doing, you've been drawing up X's and O's stuff yep. that you've been putting on social yep. media. So give us your breakdown. Let's give us your, your breakdown so, of this Cougar team this year. So, so well, well, how X's and O's started, obviously, Greg, uh, one of the founders of CoopFan.com, we connected and he wanted me to do a little X's and O's. So it started off with me just watching every game, right, and just breaking down what I see, right? So, so far this season, obviously, you see the Camboard impact, right, guys? I mean, 2,300 yards over that, uh, 22 total touchdowns. Eight interceptions, but we know that a lot of those interceptions because he just wasn't going to make the big play. Some growth, some highs and lows for the season, learning his receivers. But overall, man, I think he's an awesome player. Future number one potential pick out there. The arm angles, the arm talent, you don't really see that a lot from a lot of people, right? I call him Cam Kyrie Ward, right? Like Kyrie Irving, because when he's in that pocket, man, he does some magical stuff, right? But sometimes that can get him a little bit of trouble. I want to shout out Robert Pearl real quick, right, for his toughness and effort I've been seeing all year from him. Obviously, Nakia Watson bringing back that north south downhill physical running that you really want to see. And then, obviously, I would be remiss if I don't talk about Billy Riviera, man, because I love him. Every time we get that, the, the Viking, man, every time we get that 11 personnel, man, we have good things happen. So I'm loving that. Um, defensively now, the togetherness of this defense is awesome, right? The effort, the strain, uh, the principles of the defense, the execution. I love it. Arguably, probably the best defense in the Pac-12, along the fewest points in the pack, right? Um, just, just going through the season as well, the senior leadership from Stone to Jackson to March to Henley. Henley actually on the stop on him. Might be the number one linebacker prospect in this next draft. I really love his name. Brown, right? And obviously, I think that we got probably the best corner in the pack so far. Probably arguably the nation is going to play. So defensively, we're rocking, man. We're galvanized. We're flying around, and we're doing our thing. Let's talk about D-line, though. Right? Sure. You're, you're a D-line player. Yeah. Yeah. So, our strength so, been what, what, what I know, so, so what I love the most about our D-line is the flexibility, right? What I'm loving the most, too, is when you're going into this NASCAR pack, so we move Ron Stone to a three technique. We move Brendan Jackson inside to like a one and a three, right? We'll give it Andrew S, and we'll have a rotation of other guys at the other end. I just love those kind of packages, running stunts, tech stunts, exit stunts, getting after that quarterback with four yards and plus, right? But I ain't going to lie. I love blitzing a lot, too, man. I love when I see number one walking on that line of scrimmage and blitzing. So, overall, the D-line, the front seven players, but awesome. Awesome. The corner plays been awesome, but like I said, what can help, what can hurt us this game if we play to the level of our opponents, so we can't do that. What do you think of the breakdown, Billy? I am, I'm like, wow, <laughs> like we, we just like rapid fire, and like for people who aren't here, he's got notes 